From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 27th of July. Victorians will find out this morning if the state's lockdown will come to an end at midnight tonight. Tough restrictions are expected to remain no matter what, including mandatory masks both indoors and outdoors. In South Australia, the lockdown will be lifted at midnight tonight, whereas in New South Wales, people are still waiting to hear if the lockdown will end on time on Friday night. Overseas now and researchers in the UK have discovered that catching COVID can have a negative effect on your intelligence. People who had contracted the virus performed worse than expected in IQ tests. Those who had been on ventilators had the biggest deficit, equal to a seven-point drop in IQ. Ouch. In other news, an international team of scientists have announced a new initiative to look for evidence of technology built by aliens. Called the Galileo Project, it envisages the creation of a global network of telescopes, cameras and computers to investigate UFOs. The project also wants to investigate objects that visit our solar system from interstellar space and search for alien satellites that might be probing Earth. To the Olympics now, Australia has a chance to win more gold in the pool today. Kaylee McKeon and Emily Seabom are both in the 100 metre backstroke final. McKeon is the current world record holder in that event. And taking a quick look at the medal tally and Japan is on top with eight gold medals, while Australia is in seventh place with two gold. To showbiz and tributes continue to flow for former home and away star Dita Brahma, who was found dead at his home on the weekend. Co-stars have described him as a class clown, a gold and presence and a deep thinking man. A reminder, if you need help, you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14. And finally, Lord has revealed that she needed a bit of help to recover after filming a TV segment with comedian Seth Meyers. The TV host took Lord day drinking and she felt pretty rough the next day. You did kind of destroy me and I had to get um, a very pop star thing, uh, an IV drip. You Someone did it. came to my hotel That's, I and administered it. fluids to my my. A corpse because you uh, kids <laughs> and the things you do the tick you know yeah, exactly. the nut tick you're taking the IV tick. <laughs> if you want news.com.au with fewer ads and member awards get news.com.au premium today at news.com.au forward slash premium membership that's it from the newsroom i'll be back in the afternoon with another update your update from news.com.au 